stay back, traitor. You have betrayed the Resistance and sold out our cause. Have you been working with Bouchard all this time? I was about to ask the same of you, Alexander. I overheard Bouchard mention your name. He delivered a package to you, did he not? Yes, the head of poor Barnabas in a burlap sack. This was not the man who met me in Karenia. What? The real Barnabas had been murdered before I arrived. Replaced by a Templar agent who did a good deal of damage before vanishing. God help us. The Templars have been equally brutal here. With captains roaming the market, the ports, and the cathedral square. Arresting anyone they see fit. Don't despair. Kerenia has already shaken off the Templars. We will expel them from Limassol too. You're right. But you must be careful. Templar propaganda has turned some of my men against you, and most others are wary. Thanks for the warning. I have a message for Aman Bouchard. Has he come through this port recently? I couldn't say, but he'd do well to avoid this place. We had some awful murders here last night. Who was killed? Templars? No. A couple of my men working the docks. Cut down where they stood. It was so dark. Nobody saw a thing. Who was on duty that night? A goddamn Templar sergeant. But you won't find him here if you're looking. I am. He's over by the cathedral today. Praying for his own soul, I hope. Kill him! Kill the assassin! <laughs> Brave, are we? Cower like a man racked with a guilty conscience. You're getting desperate, assassin. Attacking us blindly, grasping for answers? You let Bouchard slip through the ports last night, and murder two good men in the process. That wasn't my work. I just patrol there. Go pester Demetrius. He practically owns those ports. Demetrius? A wealthy man, I suppose. Oh, quite. A debauched merchant and gluttonous worm. But he's been a useful ally in this operation. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. I found him! He's here! <sighs> ah, girls, oh my lovelies. Spare an old man from his paltry imagination, and let me gaze upon the reality of your beauty. Ah! 
Huh? This isn't a public house. For God's sake, remove yourself, Popper, before I call the guards. I'm here on business, Dimitris. I'm looking for one of your clients. A killer. What makes you think I know where to find such a man? I deal in textiles, not cutthroats. Then what am I to make of the rumor that Bouchard hired you to sneak him through the ports this morning? <laughs> you, you're crazy. I, I would never work with that, that vile man. Ladies, would you give us a moment? Please stop! What is it you want? I'll tell you everything! That damned killer! A Templar cutthroat! It was he who paid me to... Oh! Memory log updated. A note from Alexander. He's planning something in the castle courtyard. I'm not sure what this means, but it would be wise to be cautious.
Alexander. A friend of yours? You. I didn't catch your name. What did I tell you in Kyrenia? Was it uh, Barnabas? There's the traitor! String him up! Ah, sounds like public opinion has turned against you, assassin. Stop! I will not fight you. I am not your enemy. Our man Bouchard is the man responsible for your misery. He hired this man to poison the resistance against itself. Go from this place and rally your men. Cyprus will be yours once again. Quite a toy you have there. Do you mind if I borrow it? So, you had it all along. And now you see what kind of weapon it could be, in the wrong hands. I don't know that I'd call yours the right hands. No, quite right. I will destroy it. Or hide it. Until I find the archive, I can't say. Well, look no further. You're standing on it. Kill him! Kill the assassin! This way, quickly!
Witless Emperor Comnenus. He was a fool, but he was our fool. 
For almost a decade, we operated in secret on this island. Our archive was the best kept secret on Cyprus. Unfortunately, even the best laid plans were not immune to Isaac's idiocy. He angered King Richard and brought the English a little too close for comfort. Is that it? Fortunately, we were able to convince Richard to sell the island to us. It was the only way to avert his attention. Purchase things you already controlled. And look where that has gotten us. Ever since you showed up and stuck your nose into too many dark corners, the Archive hasn't been safe. I wish I could say I'm sorry, but I tend to get what I want. Oh, not this time, Assassin. Not now. Our little detour to Karenia gave us just enough time to dismantle the Archive and move it. You weren't shipping artifacts to Cyprus. You were shipping them out. Exactly. But not everything has to go. I think we'll leave you right here.
Altair. And you have strayed from yours. Not strayed. Expanded. The world is more complicated than most dare admit. And if you, assassin, if you knew more than how to murder, you might understand this. Save your lecture on virtue for yourself, and die knowing that I will never let the Apple of Eden fall into any hands but my own. Keep it close, Altair. You will come to the same conclusions we did. In time. Everything I worked for in the Holy Land, I no longer want. And everything I gave up to join the Templars. I wonder where all that went. And if I should try to find it again. Will you return to England? No. I am so far from home already. I'll continue on. East. To India, perhaps. Or until I fall off the far edge of the world. And you? For a long time under Al Mualim. I thought my life had reached its limit, and that my sole duty was to show others the same precipice I had discovered. Yes, I felt the same once. As terrible as this artifact is, it contains wonders. I would like to understand it as best I can. You tread a thin line, Altair. I know, but I have been ruined by curiosity, Maria. I want to meet the best minds, explore all the libraries of the world and learn all the secrets of nature and the universe. All in one lifetime? It's a little ambitious. Who can say? It could be that one life is just enough. Maybe. And where will you go first? East. Our origins seem chaotic, unintended, with purpose and being instilled solely by the passage of time, imposed by nature and only later by men. What should we do with this rare gift of life? Memory log updated.